Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian and we are talking network ships. Now this has nothing to do with the actual game. This is just a word or a concept that I come up with, you know. Uh, my kids are always like, Dad, why are you making stuff up? But yeah, this is what I call it. Um, uh, so in the early games, uh, you could not really, when you wanted to go somewhere in the galaxy, you had to... Um, essentially, with the ship that you're in, you had to move it to wherever you wanted to go. So if there was a ship up here, you had to move it up to this ship. Um, but eventually they changed that uh, to where you can move. As long as you have something in that system, you can switch to sector or switch to craft in that sector. Which made this a whole lot easier uh, when you wanted to do stuff. Um, you know, moving from place to place in the galaxy. Now, once, we'd st once we started doing that... Um, there was a little bit of, you know, as you're moving through the galaxy, you know, you're kind of doing this in a chain. You know, you start here, 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 and work your way to the edge of the galaxy. However, at some point, you're out, you want to go, you're going to, uh, there's things that you want to go back, specifically to a couple different stations. One, yeah, the equipment dock, and one, uh, the other one would be like the resource depot, even a research station. Uh, see, the thing about it is there's certain stations that only, you know, there's might be only one or two in an in entire faction. So when you're jumping through here and you get to the next faction, you, you're not, you can't find an equipment depot, you can't find the uh, um, whatever, uh, so, but you need new equipment, you need you know, stuff like that. Um, you have to have the ability to go back to get it. And if you're not, you know, you don't have the first artifact, uh, you know, with the um, uh, decrease in cooldown time and all that kind of stuff, you, it takes a long time to move your ship from even you know from here back to here or you know from here back to here whatever uh, it takes time um, so the system that are these these network ships that I use uh, essentially allows me to you know leave it's kind of leaving a little bit of a breadcrumb trail behind you I let you to go back to a system and specifically what I'm talking about is for example um, where is he at here there's one of them over there uh, that one right there, which is the equipment dock. Um, you know, as you get further along into the... So the equipment dock is RNG-based, so every time you log in, uh, there's usually something that changes, specifically for trading equipment. Uh, upgrades, whether it's new turns or whatever. Um, you know, you, you're, going through the, you're going through the systems. Um, they don't have anything good right now. Uh, but you wait, you know, next time you log in, this is going to be different. You know, they, so it constantly changes with an equipment dock. Um, so, you know, here's a turret control, which is a great piece of equipment to have for your uh, ship. Same way with a uh, hyperspace upgrade, plus four jump range. Um, so this is stuff I can all buy. Um, now, if I'm somewhere else in the, uh, in the map, you know, obviously, and I'm over here and I'm not running into any equipment docks, uh, and I still want to buy some of the high-end stuff, especially if I start building more ships, uh, being able to jump back to that uh, equipment dock is, is super nice. Same way with, um, it also leaves the bill if you start blowing up some other ships and you get a bunch of equipment, you don't want to use the research part of it, you don't, sell, you don't think that they're worth it, you can simply go back and sell it to the um, equipment dock. Uh, the way you had to do this before was, of course, either fly your ship here, or uh, what I started doing or using, uh, which were which essentially these network ships, uh, was just a simple little, and we're going to do it here on this one because I did it on the other two, uh, just to show you what I was talking about here. I got one on the on the depot over there, resource depot. Resource store depots also sells you resources. If you don't want to do the mining and you have enough cash and you want to simply buy it, putting an, a network ship in, uh, next to it, you can jump back into the system, buy your stuff, and then jump back to your regular ship. Same way here, um, repair dock. Not really a great one, but there's nothing else in the system I'd really want. And we're trying to do a video here for fuck's sake. All right, so we're going to exit out of the drone, and all we're doing um, is going to get up here next to him. So he, he doesn't have any shield, which is fine. Uh, but if you get close enough, you get inside the, essentially inside the booms here. Uh, if this thing had shields, it would cover this little ship. So we're going to found a ship, and we're we're going to call it NS3. Um, there we go. She's found it, and we're going to look at it from the inside. So this has no crew, nothing. All this is is a placeholder, a single block. That's it. So now the single block, 
um, allows me, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, to jump out. So we're going to jump out, out of here. What it does is it allows me to come back to this sector without having to bring my ship. And it costs me nothing. There is no crew cost. There is no, no, none of that kind of stuff. So we're going to jump out and um, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Pretty simple, pretty simple concept. Uh, so instead of having to jump back here to buy equipment um, or, uh, you know, uh, mineral uh, materials or any of that kind of stuff, I can simply just pick the craft I want to jump to. So NS1 is inside the equipment dock. I, I want to come back here, buy some equipment. I can. I don't have to keep jumping back and forth, back and forth. Um, it also works, for example, if I'm going to, uh, you know, for example, here's an asteroid here. And I don't have the money or the resources right away to build uh, a mine or something like that. I can simply leave a network ship here. And when I do finally get the money and stuff, um, you know, even if my main ship is way over here, I can just simply jump back to this asteroid, build the mine, or build a, build a little ship, get to the asteroid, claim it, build the mine, and I'm good to go. Right? So, that, I mean, that that's the whole concept behind these uh, network ships, is that you have the ability to... Um, move around the galaxy without having to bring this guy your main ship or multiple ships or actually building a ship in the system and leaving it which is going to cost you money because you got to pay a crew and all that kind of stuff these don't cost you nothing other than just the, the, the initial little bit of material which is going to be 500 iron or whatever it is unless you're in the Vorian which cost me 500 Vorian but leaving these little guys behind they don't cost me nothing but it does leave me a placeholder that I can jump back to these systems uh, if I or back to these systems, if I need something, for example, um, from the equipment dock. Like I said, equipment docks, um, research stations, something like that. A lot of times, there's not a whole lot in a faction. So when you find one, it's kind of nice to be able to go back there, either sell the stuff that you're not using, or buy the new stuff. Because when you buy from the equipment dock, and which we're going to do right now, whoops, is that uh, you can. Um, And you can put, I, I put multiple ones on each system I go to, uh, just because then I, when I want to jump to a specific station, I can just pick this, the, the uh, network sh ship that's sitting there and just jump right to it. For example, this one is the one that's right next to um, the equipment dock. So I'm going to talk to the equipment dock, and we're going to trade equipment. And you know, now, I, now I can buy whatever I want. Um, and this goes into my... Uh, my inventory and then once I jump back to my other ship I can mount it on my ship same way with the upgrades the turrets obviously fighters and torpedoes because you have to have a ship to do that however if I'd like I said once I get that if I have a bunch of equipment I want to sell I can sell it here it also it's great for diplomacy because I'm in here buying stuff um, from here you know same way with the resources once you buy stuff I my increases my uh, standing with this with this faction so I can, of course, uh, upgrade from good to, you know, all the way up to excellent, whatever. But I, I'm, it gives me the ability to do that without actually having to come back here all the time. Super easy, super fast. And, of course, if you want, really want to, um, you can just simply jump into the drone and you can get out of here. Um, the one nice thing about it, like I, like I said, I left this inside here because it's covered by the shields of the station. And this um, sector, of course, has already has cruisers and defense platforms in place so even if it's attacked by pirates I'm not going to lose these little buggers anyway I do not suggest however leaving these things out in an open space area without having some faction around it you can do it but uh, if you do jump to it uh, there's a good chance it's probably going to be spawning some pirates shortly after you jump into it and you're going to lose the ship and you're going to end up coming back anyway so um, you know leaving it inside a friendly faction system uh, helps a bunch now, normally, you don't see, I, I don't have these scattered around here anymore because by the time I got more money, more materials, I just simply replaced these little network ships with mines um, and, uh, and bigger ships. Um, in fact, I don't even know if I have any left. Uh, probably not. Most of the stuff has been just upgraded to something else once I got enough material and that kind of stuff. Uh, but when you first start out, when you're poor, you know, really poor, uh, these little ships... A little network ships lets you jump you know back gather materials gather equipment uh, without actually having to move your ship constantly back 
you know, because like I said, it, it's a pain in the butt when you get here and you're not finding any equipment docks, you're not finding anything really good, but you know this one over here still has some pretty good equipment, uh, you can jump back. Same way with the asteroids, you don't got the money for it. You know, so there, you know, it's, it's, it's or if you have, find a place that's got a really interesting, you know, there's a bunch of asteroids in one little, um, you know, like right in here, you know, you leave a, uh, a network ship here you want to come back here to start mining this and turning it into something else you have the ability to do it, even though for your way to hell over here so with that said hope you guys kind of understanding some of my rambling here um, but yeah this this is an easy way to move around the galaxy without actually having to leave uh, multiple ships because it costs you nothing there's no crew there's nothing like that real simple so with that said guys uh, hope you guys have a good night and uh, we'll see you later